Throughout history, different people have seen badgers in different lights. Many people love them, a few loathe them. In the classic story of Wind in the Willows, badger was portrayed as wise and kind. Yet among countrymen, they're often blamed for all manner of destruction and disease. The truth is that while badgers dig holes where people don't want them and damage crops in pursuit of a meal, they're shy and avoid human contact. While the latest scientific research reveals that they're not the principal cause of bovine TB, the fact that they can carry the disease still fuels calls for a countrywide cull. They were once relentlessly persecuted for sport, dug out and baited by dogs. Now they're protected by law. At seven weeks old, their mother can leave the cubs for a short while so she can forage close to the set. They will remain here in the dark for another two months. Underground, by late afternoon, young male badgers are already awake. Wrestling has a purpose, sorting out dominance within the social group. Only the strongest will win the right to mate. Female badgers usually come into season shortly after their cubs were born in February. Spring is peak time for mating, but it can continue well into autumn. Dominant boar usually fathers the most cubs. Life at the top is not easy. Challenges from younger males can come from within the family or outside. An intruding male has ventured into the territory. His scent marks him out as a stranger. Females with young will be especially nervous. A new dominant male might kill any cubs in the set. The old boar is quickly onto him. Fights seldom last long, but they can be vicious. This old boar has fought many battles and has the scars to prove it. <laughs> 